Hey everyone, a few months ago I have shared a video about a WhatsApp bot and many of you tried it. But I saw your comments issues like the bot restarting, QR code not working and anti-link problems were a big concern. But guess what, I have fixed everything. In this video, I will show you how to deploy and use every command step by step so you can have your own bot. It's now easier and better than before. Make sure to watch till the end because each step is important. And one request from all of you, we are very close to 10k subscribers. So make sure to subscribe our channel and do like the video. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, visit this repository. You will get the link in description box. And after that, please do star our repository by clicking here. So our first step is fork the repository. Without forking, your uploads will be disabled. So watch carefully. Now scroll down and click on fork repository button. For some of you, it might say this repository already exists. So just make changes in name and click on create fork. Now whenever any changes will be done in this repository, you just need to sync fork. For now, no need. Now scroll down and move to step 2. This time we have removed QR code and added pair code. So click on get pair code button. It will redirect you to Replate. Make sure you already signed in in your Replate account. After that click on create fork and fork REPL. After that click on done button. Now here type your WhatsApp number including plus and country and you will get the pair code. Now type this in link device of WhatsApp. Now you can see your bot is connected and now you will receive the credits.json file in your own chat. So make sure to save it in your device. Now go back to the repo and you have to upload it to the session folder. So click on this folder and click on three dots upload files. and select the credits.json file and upload it here and commit changes. You will be able to upload only if you have forked this repository. Now our next step is click on settings file and here you have to change the owner number and name otherwise you won't be able to use owner command of the bot so make sure to set it here still if you have got any error or have any questions while this process then feel free to share it in the comment section After that, save and commit changes. Now step 3 is to deploy our bot. I have added all panels below, you can use any of that to deploy, but I will recommend this Katabump panel as it totally free and don't requires any credits. So click on Katabump button. Now create your account with temp mail.
now click on three line and click on order and give any name here and click on create server now click on c server it will take few minutes seconds to create your server so meanwhile go to our fork repo and click on code and download the zip file now refresh our panel page you can see our server is ready click on c and here click on access server and go to the server and copy your credentials and log it to the panel Now click on manage server. Click on three line and go to file section. Here click on upload button and upload the bot g file that you recently downloaded. After that unarchive it. Now open nightbot main folder and select all files and click on move button and type dot dot slash. Click on move. Now click on three line and go to console section. Click on start button. It will take few minutes to install the bot. So wait. Meanwhile, if you have any issues till now, then you can mention them in the comment section or you can personally message me on telegram. So join our telegram also. You will get the link in comment section and subscribe to our YouTube channel also. After installation, you will see that the bot is connected successfully in logs. Now your bot is ready to use. And you can check on WhatsApp also. Make sure to join our WhatsApp channel. All bot related updates will be shared here. Now to test your bot, type dot ping. And you can see our bot is working fine. And to check all commands, type dot menu and you will see all the available commands. Now you can set here whether you want to make it public or private. Similarly, you can see other commands. I have give example of each command so watch till the end. And you can mention what more commands you want in this bot.
For now, the downloader command works only if the bot is deployed locally like Terminal or Termux, but it will be fixed soon. So write your feedback in the comment section and lastly one request help me to reach out 10k subscribers so do subscribe to our channel and like this video. Till then see you in the next video.